Hey guys, we are back with more RDR2. And currently trying to... Oh, there we go. Find this Magnifico character to go ahead and get this side mission underway. You Magnifico? Whoa! <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, if that was you gunfire. So. <laughs> Are you Magnifico by any chance? I'm not going back. She's a witch! She's a witch! Who? Presta! Well, Marjorie. she cares about you a lot. Well, I'm the talent. It's me. It's all me. I share the money with her and, uh, you know, that thing. No, stay away. You've made love to her, haven't no, you? That's not She's it. a succubus! <laughs> She's a succubus! No. Stay away what? from me! Oh. Okay, hey, please don't run. Partner, come back here. Oh, what is this? Okay, Chase, I'm, I'm, I'm already on it. No. Nope. Oh, stop. Where are you running off? Oh, there he is. No, that's a deer. Oh, hey, did you get you over talk? there? I'm going in a love. Too slow. Come on, Arthur, pick up the base. I'm gonna lose them. You're starting to irritate. Oh. Search the smoke. What uh, the hell are you pulling here? Run through them. <laughs> oh, yeah, very clever. Uh, oh, there he is. There he is. Come here. Sir, we can. Please stop. I, I'm not getting paid enough for this. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa search. That was a deer I was about to chase. Magnifico! Can't magic out of this, partner. He climbed up a tree, didn't he? ain't as bad as all that. Because he can't be in these bushes. Over here, dummy. Yeah, he climbed a tree. Really, man? Well, ain't you led me on a merry old dance. Come on down now. Lady said you had a contract. You want me? Come and get me. <laughs> hey, uh, hold on there. Whoa, whoa, ah. whoa, 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 whoa. So Damn it. Long, dummy. Oh, I can't. What did he throw? Where are you? You little... This is ridiculous. Well, at least Mark. Oh, she said to make noise if I found him. There's no way. How did you? Did you get to the other side? He did. Funny. Oh no. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, 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 no. I ain't, I, 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 I ain't back. I'm gone on the next train to the Great White Way. Really? You got enough for a ticket? Pa. Because the way Big Fanny tells it, you spent all of our takings on a case of the French pox. Maybe I did. So what? What do you need a stump of a showman for? Same bad jokes, the same cheap tricks, in a package half the size? You got Bertram, you got Dummy over there. Who I is Dummy here. anyway? The missing link? <laughs> oh, <laughs> shut up, you dimwit. You sold me out. You should watch your mouth. You don't need me. You're better off without me. Even you, Dummy. Go on, clear off. Aim for the top, all of you. I'm out of food and I'm out of ideas. Leave me for the bears. I won't be more than a mouthful. You robbed me. Whoa. You robbed your brother. So you are going to be pulling rabbits out of your ass until you are as old as you are tiny. Put them up there. Oh, some friends, some friends. We ain't friends. No. We're family, as much Aww. as it pains me to say it. Family? Still after everything? Well, of course, you silly little man. And him? Let him at the bar agree to help. Ah, sleeping rough don't suit me much. <laughs> I know. Come to Mama. Oh, I did miss you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, don't you ever run off on us like that again. Back together. Back together. <laughs> well, I'm glad it all worked out. 
thanks to you. Thank him, boys. Thank you. Uh, You're thanks welcome. Thanks for nothing, dummy. No get in the back. We ought to give you a piece of the gate on our next show. You earned it. Huh? We'll be playing Saint Denis next. Check with the box oh, office. Oh, another show. Here. No one said anything about splitting the gate. Oh, shut up. Half man and half wit. Bye bye. <laughs> what bye. I done to deserve you too. I guess we have another show. Man, they okay. They disappeared. All right, another magic trick. I guess we have another show to go see. When did this happen? Whose horse is this? I'm bonded to it. How long have you been around? Get going, girl. You you get out of here. Actually, you know what? No 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 no. I'll go back and get her, and then I'll take her to those brothers That's and sell her. Because I have no idea where she came from. Yeah. I definitely picked her up somewhere. This way, girl. Oh. Who's brave is this? In memory of work. Oh, okay. All right. Let us. Probably just easier to camp and fast travel. And hopefully, the random horse I picked up from somewhere will follow us and I can sell her to whatever those two brothers' names were. But first, let's take care of Arthur. Okay, I was just looking at something. Um, came to camp with the idea of being close enough to those two brothers that I could sell that extra horse. But there's a stagecoach mission with Bill. And I think it's daytime sensitive because I haven't been seeing it. So we're gonna go ahead and do this with Bill. What are you doing? Prepping for a robbery. I've had a good run of luck recently. Okay. Robbed a house up in Roanoke Ridge. Robbed a couple of drunken soldiers out near the swamps. <laughs> and what are you about to do? A stage. <clears throat> well, good luck. Well, do you want to come with me? Now, I was gonna ask Sean, but he's too much of a hothead. What's the opportunity? A bank stage, and without much security. This feller was telling me about it a couple of nights ago when we was drinking. It's gonna be coming right through, and the bank records the cost of security ain't worth the risk. Now, there'll be a couple mm. guys, but nothing too serious, and lots of money. Easy money. Well, that's always the dream of every thief. Easy money. Well, like I was saying, my luck is in now, Arthur. Well, then, why not? Who are you taking? I think we need a girl. See, I got a plan in mind. Well, in that case, Dilly, you free? Oh, you got some Dilly more? gets to come. Sure. What kind of work? Stagecoach. Sounds good. Let's do it. All right. Come on. Let's mount up. I don't know. Tilly doesn't seem like the type to like participate in the robberies, and I know okay. that's like Follow me. an unfounded assumption because she is part of this gang. So I'm very happy to like have her along. And uh, you're certain this information sound, Bill? After that mess with the Cornwall stage, I want to make sure we're not riding into another army of guards. Please don't. Yes, I'm certain. So what's the plan? I was thinking a little womanly distraction. I figured that much. But what's the story? Root, number of guards, you know, important details? Just do exactly what I say and you'll be fine, all right? How about we do exactly what Tilly yep. says? I'd feel a lot safer. Me too. Because I've done all the groundwork on this. Next time she brings in a lead of her own, we'll all bow down, I promise. I'll remember you said that. You follow orders, stay alive. That's what they used to tell me in the army. That kicked you out of the army. <laughs> they did not. Yes, they I did. I to differ, Marion. Have you been going through my things? I did. You shouldn't have left it out. Can you believe this, Morgan? I don't trust her any more than I trust that Kieran boy. I read your I letters too, Bill. Running with them Foreman boys all them years. 
she could turn on us any minute. Just shut your mouth or I'll shut it for you. You have no damn clue. You tell him, Tilly. All right, just take it easy, you two. Get your minds on what matters, so we do this right. Uh, Tilly? Okay. Let's cut up through the creek. There's gotta be something going on with Tilly's backstory, too, that we'll learn at some point, because she does have the background with the Foreman boys. And I know one of them, um, I wouldn't say attacked her, but, like, definitely was threatening her back in Valentine. So we definitely have some more stuff to learn about Tilly. You know... This was the spot we first picked out for a camp. A dry riverbed? Yep. Who the hell suggested that? Mike, I believe. Well, that don't surprise me. <laughs> I really haven't interacted a lot with Micah since he came back to camp. Oh, oh, Trelawney's back in camp, too. I do need to talk to them at some point. Bill, All right. what's the plan? So the stage should be coming from over there. What you want me to do? But just act dumb and silly and get the thing stopped. You know, like you do. And what you mean by that? <laughs> oh, come on, don't get all precious and stuck up on me now. I don't like your manners, Mr. Williamson. In fact, I think you're an obnoxious idiot. What'd you say to me? I oh. didn't say enough to you, you useless half-man. Half-man? Half man, what does that even mean? You two stop arguing. He started. I love Here's Tilly. a goddamn stagecoach. We doing this? Yes. Come on, both of you, follow me. What's the plan? There's been a change of plan. Yes, you and dumb. Dear God, bit. Uh. Ah. with Micah. Move, Bill. Let me get around this bed. Alright. Driver's still alive. Stop the damn bus now! Bill, you're not helpful here. That got a little far off, but it's fine. Stop, damn it! Oh, come on, stop it. Stop. the horses off before I do this? Alright. Let's not try placing it again, because the last time I placed it, it did not work. Okay. It worked, but I mean... Yeah, after chasing it all over New Hanover, but God knows who watched. 
Got it. Right. Let's split up, get the hell out of here. Okay, but you owe me my cut. Don't think I'll forget. I know, I know. Go on. Well, where'd Tilly go? I'll see you back at camp. Uh, hey, whatever, yeah, Bill. Girl. Oh, poor horses. I have no idea where Tilly went. Yeah. I assume she's okay, though. All right. Well, that uh, did not go smoothly at all. There was... Oh, never mind. Thought there was another thing that had popped up on the map, but it was the Magnifico mission, and I was just remembering wrong. Uh, let's camp really quick. Give Arthur a night under the stars. I do need to let him sleep more. So we'll feed him, then sleep, then fast travel, and go talk to Hosea. I have not cared to go hunting in a while, and I've also used all of my, um, herbs. You can get oregano, but I don't know if I've had that at any point. I do use mint, but I don't think I've ever found oregano. Let's back out, let him sleep, uh, sleep until noon. Our boy can sleep in a little bit. It ain't gonna kill him. is closer to roads than camp. Fast travel. All right, there we go. We're gonna go ahead and get to Rhodes, go talk to Jose about his mission, and then do whatever else comes our way. exploration mood and I figured I'd leave the last northern parts of the map alone for a little bit. Okay, we're gonna go see Hosea. I made a quick stop at the fence and I was able to make a couple of new talismans. I do need to continue doing the legendary hunts though and there's also a couple of items that um, seem just like miscellaneous stuff that I would find like petrified wood, a brass compass, and there was something else that I needed like... Howdy! On top of the legendary stuff. Hey there, mister. Hey, fellas. I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now. Should I use this opportunity to look around their property? Probably. Hosea, I will meet with you in a moment. I need to go around this fine establishment and try to find all of their cigarette cards before someone tries to tell me to leave. I have a feeling there's one in this boathouse. There might also be one over in the gazebo where the girl was. I need to get rid of these. Oh, there they are. Right? No. These are regulars. Oh, I'm blind. Ooh, naval compass. I'll just take that with me. No one pay me any mind. I know there's someone, like, right behind me. But if they don't see it... It didn't happen. Ooh, this is mine now. Is that a, is that a chain or a Okay, it's a chain. It's like it's either that or a snake skin, and I can't really tell which one it is. Okay, I'm gonna check this gazebo again, and then head off towards those houses. Hosea will just have to wait for me. 
Ooh, 10 out of 12. I'm close to finishing a couple of the card decks. Okay, girl. Barn up here that we stole the horses from. Crazy young woman, real strange looking, locked in some kind of outhouse, hidden on Braithwaite Manor. Braithwaite's sister. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, this is the girl Bo was talking about. He said that the Braithwaite woman had a daughter. They like disappeared. Oh, they just locked her up. How long has she been here? Oh, poor woman. Okay, it's not a cigarette card, but we found something else for Arthur to draw. Okay. I've checked these buildings, and that's where we found... Is that the building where we got Trelawney? Yeah, because there are the fields. I've been over there. I think this might be one of the last buildings. I think I tried to get over here before the very first time I was on, uh, wait, wait, what? The very first time I was exploring around here. Okay, that's a no. We don't need any more apples. Actually, you know what? I used them for hammer. Let's go see Hosea. Probably on the front of the house, right? Hammer, I know I called you and that was my bad, but I'm just gonna head over here. Unless you want to follow me inside, because that would be funny. Oh wait, that's not the front door. This is the front door. Oh, please come in, sir. This way, sir. Fine joys of tobacco. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Uh, Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big. But his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, <laughs> well, he's not quite that dumb. So these are the boys going to Caliger Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you in a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. <laughs> okay, Sean, where are we going? Can I drive? Nope. 
I would have said yes. No comments from Sean. All right, let's get this over with. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of horse. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull <laughs> it clean out of his ass. The smug fucker. Okay. So what's she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't oh. had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep. Using that back there. The moonshine? Burns faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting she did. All I'm thinking is how about I try fitting my boot up your hook. No, just snotty old bitch. <laughs> Jose really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't he? Ah, oh, he was giving his usual flannin. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, I'm off for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. They really bear me some bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. Mm. He just robbed their horses, too. That was you? Jesus. <laughs> so, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry. I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery. That's all. Okay. Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> all right, then. I've never heard that saying before, but okay. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if that uh, logic... I'm just talking our way and really applies when it's almost well it is nighttime. But we're gonna try it anyway. I wanted to burn those cornfields before, so at least I get to burn something now. I'm looking forward to this. I really don't think there's money though. There's just Then again, I don't know like I said before, I know what the Braithwaites have their money in, it's in horses. But I don't know where the Greys have their money, and according to that one guy, they got rich all of a sudden. So there could be money, or the real reason they don't talk to Bo about their finances is because there really isn't any finances to speak of. Either way, we're, we'll be robbing them for something. I just don't know what that something is going to be just yet. Them greys, English. Excuse me? You not worried about them greys. In what? what sense? Well, they know you. Yeah, maybe you're right. Oak, okay. you know what? Here, I'll go hide and back. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> Oh, Arthur, Arthur, the hat is still kind of okay. <laughs> I mean, I guess if it works, it works. Can I see? I can clearly see Arthur. He's not really that well hidden. I would get down a little bit more, but you know what? I'm not here to tell you, uh, how to do your job. <laughs> hey, hey, hold it right there. I think we took the long way around. Yeah. <laughs> what you want, boy? I've... I've... There, there was a thing... A, a thing... At the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, <laughs> Just hand him the bottle. drop. <laughs> I'm new. I mean, you know, harm. Uh, <laughs> I've come from Donegal, in Ireland. You don't say. 
Yeah! <laughs> they said you'd understand. There's some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business, eh? Uh, before the officials got there, okay. they said. Okay. Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink. Sean. There's so many odd bugs. <coughs> Uh, Hamish. But I love them. Good to meet you, Hamish. You're the best thing ever. <laughs> uh, uh, fine bit of country you've got here. Uh, not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Uh, is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, when they said they was looking for more drivers in town, I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a fella to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. A bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear. I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half. <laughs> Just in there. Uh, right you are. Our boy Sean the smooth talker. <laughs> <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <coughs> All right, Arthur, what do we do? Uh, quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses there, uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy place as they was, Hamish. Real fancy, because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest places imaginable. <coughs> <coughs> Okay. Arthur, did we open just here till it gets dark. How you getting on? Good. Nearly got these things ready. Okay. Molotovs? There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. <clears throat> you head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellers here. Thankfully, it ain't rained, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> how many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. <laughs> Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was born burning down manor houses. We'll burn quietly. Okay, let's go. Quiet. There's someone coming on the left. Oh, hey. Well, I, I thought the wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? Just let me deal with our friend here. All right, so he's going to the back of the fields. Nice. Come on. You douse the fields. I'll we'll meet you at the barn. All right. Try to stay out of trouble. I'll go do my job. That 
that should do it. Okay, which way are you facing? You're facing me. Why don't you just stop facing me? That's good. Got to take a long way around this guy. I think I need that field behind him, right? Oh, he's already moving. Perfect. Anyone else in this little aisle here? Oh, yep, I see it. I see the payroll. Okay. See you too. Which way do you go? I don't want to just. Yep, okay. I was about to say, I don't want to just run behind him. It's going to be a long night. get past. Alright, me with Sean. Alright. See Sean. Follow our boy. Nice one, Sean. Oh, this a quick dousing as well. Alright. You go for it, because I don't have my moonshine anymore. You go, Arthur. Light her up. Okay. Equip the fire bottles. Oh. Light one of ah, the balls you got. There it goes. <laughs> Would you look at that? Yeah. Now let's burn those bloody fields to the ground. I got the right hand. You keep burning. This is a gun. Oh, 
can nick the horses from that. All right, where is he? This way. Shit. Fight Dutch has put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Uh, sure. Sure. Yeah, I was gonna head back to camp anyway, so I might as well follow Sean. And we could sell this horse too, because I also have one at camp that I really do need to sell. Can't wait to see what comes from this, especially because we're still in with the Greys by being deputized, and Dutch has a relationship with them. Or at least he's faking a relationship with them. Home, sweet home. Uh, can I just take. Let me see something. That's not it. There we go. Yes. All right. <laughs> Hammer, you too. All right, I'm gonna go. Can I bring this horse too? I can have so many horses. Hold up, let's do this. Oh, oh! that horse does not want to be sold. You know what? Fine. You just sit here until you eventually glitch out or go away. Let's go. All right. My horses, yep, yep. follow me. Here. Get up. I'm going to go and I'm going to sell this horse and the spare horse and then come back 
and do... Is that a Micah mission? I guess we're gonna go see what Micah needs. Alright, that? now that that's taken care of. Hi, Lenny. Now that that is taken care of... Let me check something on the map really quick. Alright, I didn't know if something new had popped up. Let's go see what Micah wants us for. Hello. Morning, Arthur. Morning, Kieran. Micah? Micah. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called... Hey, Molly, where's Dutch? Well, <laughs> however it goes... I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. Uh, that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. No doubt. Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Okay, what Gentlemen. happened? Dutch, you tell him, fat man. It's peace, Dutch. The O'Driscolls. I mean... I think there's a way. What on earth are what? you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. I met a couple of the Adjusco boys on the road in the town. And things were about to get ugly. But you know how I am in a fight, huh? <laughs> like a corner tiger. <laughs> okay, get to the point. Anyway, somehow it didn't, but we got to talking, and they suggested a parlay to end things like gentlemen. Gentlemen. Yeah. Comb yeah. O'Driscoll. <clears throat> Have you lost your minds? You're always telling us, Dutch. Do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. Well, yep. Of course, it's probably a trap. But what do we got to lose finding out? Get Someone's shot. life. You ain't yeah. getting shot because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot a lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that's slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. I agree. It's a chance. You've gotta take. I killed Combs' brother. A long time ago. Then he killed a woman I loved dear. Mm. As you say, it's a long time ago. Dutch. Don't do it. Nope. Let's go. You and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. This is such a bad idea. At least Jose... Is Jose staying behind? If he is, at least he's safe, because this is... this is dumb. Uh, fine. Mount up then, Morgan. Let's go then. I'm not even going to bet. Oh, be careful, Micah. Whoa. Not even going to bet myself that it's a trap because it has to be a trap. You know, I've been fighting Comb for so long now, I can barely remember a time when it was different. And you're still fighting him now. Make no mistake of that. Here he goes, Doubting Thomas. Is there any plan you ain't sour on? Uh, yeah, good plans. Right. Just nervous. Let's not waste any more lives needlessly. I ain't costing lives here. I'm saving them. What did you say? We had Pinkertons coming after us. Because of Blackwater? And Leviticus Cornwall and his private army. Then who knows when this local hillbilly thing will come to a head, hmm? And we really afford to be fighting on all these fronts and O'Driscoll. There is wisdom in that. Uh, I hope so, gentlemen, but like I said, I'm nervous. Yeah. Look, you ain't even going to be the one in danger. You'll get on over there, find a nice perch for you to settle into. You got that rifle, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Then me and Dutch walk right in to the lion's den with you to cover us. Hmm? Okay, just keep calm, unless I give you a reason not to. 
Oh, we'll be fine. We got you. I will do my best. Oh, my dear and trusted friend, with you watching over me, I would walk into hell itself. Thank As you for would that. I. Some main right. Some main right about a couple of things. A, I don't think the O'Driscolls would actually want a truce. B, Micah's too much of a damn hothead hey, for this there. to make s Men on the ridge. Mm. O'Driscolls, from the look of them. I don't like having eyes on us. We're close. You'll be the eyes soon enough. Mike is too much of a hothead. This plan makes no Maybe sense to involve him. Or for him to like want this. Alright, let me do some do a couple of things. Let's do that. Maybe I have and then pushed too hard. One more thing. Got us into situations that could have been safer. I just I see all those mouths we gotta feed, and I I dream too big, caring too much. That's my problem. Caring too much? There's no such thing. This is horse shit yeah. from both of you. It might be. Micah might be full of shit. I think he is. Como Driscoll might be full of shit. I don't the think Combs actually involved here. This great nation, man created equal. Liberty and justice for all? That might be nonsense too, but it's worth trying for. It is worth believing in. Can't you see that, friend? Can't you see this I is a dumb know. plan? Try. All I ask is you try. Yeah. All right, cowpoke. You're going to peel off up ahead. We'll be meeting down on the plane. Find a spot just above us where you can keep an eye on things. All right, all right. However, this shakes out. Let's aim to meet back at the fork in the road afterwards. We'll be there, partner. I don't know exactly what's going on here, but uh, it makes no sense. That Micah, of all people, is the one who wants to, uh, suddenly be buddy-buddy under the guise of, let's look after everyone in the camp. Let's make our lives a little bit easier yep. by not having as many enemies, which makes sense, but not coming from him. Do I have little faith in Micah? Yes. Could he prove me wrong? Sure. Do I think that's gonna happen? No. Let me also not throw hammer off this little cliff here. That little ledge. Hammer stay, girl. Dutch. Oh, that is cold. Been a while. <clears throat> sure. So, uh, how's your gang doing? They still believing in you? Better world. Pure world. Hmm? How's that coming along? Just fine. Hmm. How's that score you stole off us? Which one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that. It's like I said, is it? Charismatic leader. A lot of heat on us this time. Both of us. Whole heap of trouble. They offered me a price, Dutch, to bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well, I still might. I am sorry about your brother. Yeah, well, I never liked him much. I... 
liked Annabelle. You always love the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. What are we doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? Oh! Got a sense. <gasps> Handing them over to the lords. I don't know. Strange Let times. This they killed Seamus. Fuck the whole lot of them. Gone With Arthur, this fella Colum's right, we can draw them all back. He's escaping, shoot him! No, 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 no. I got it. Oh, oh, no, oh, no, no, no. I think we got roped. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course not. Uh, not yet. But I will. Ah! <laughs> Did we get shot? Or did they fire close to us? Oh, Arthur. Okay, okay. I got head movement. Oh, I got someone behind us, too. Oh, my poor boy. Finally! Put his weapons over there! There's Comb. So where's Dutch? Arthur Morgan. It's good to see you. Uh, hello, Comb. <laughs> How's Will? I hardly feel it. You will. <laughs> Septic. Nice. Now, tell me. Fine gun like you. Uh, Why are you uh, still running around with old Dutch? Could come ride with me and make real money. It ain't about the money, Cole. No, no. Uh, it's Dutch's famous car. Uh, uh, you killed a whole bunch of my boys. Six point guy. I ain't got no clue what you're talking about. Oh, you lie, my friend. And I thought Dutch preached true. Let me go, Cole. And end all this crap between you two. We all got real problems now. The way I see it, they get him. They forget about me. They ain't the forgetting sort. If I were you, I'd run as soon as I had the money. <laughs> oh, I know you would. Let's see. We lure an angry Dutch in to rescue you, grab all of you, and hand you in, then disappear. So you only met with him to grab me? <laughs> of course. He gonna be so mad, he gonna come raging over here, and a whole lot of you, and the law will be waiting for him. Oh, Arthur. <laughs> Arthur, I missed you. Oh, Arthur. I'm a tad bit confused. I mean, sure, you knocked out Arthur, but the only two people that were present after that were Micah and Dutch, so why not just kill Micah and then you could take Dutch? Why you have to kidnap Arthur? and go through the rest of this. Oh, swing. Yep, 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 come on. Yep, 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 side to side. Swing left, swing right. Swing left. Oh, you got this. Oh, this has got to feel terrible on those ribs. Mm. Uh. 
Those are weak shackles, but I'm not gonna question it. Are you gonna carterize it? Uh... Okay, uh, no. Mm. Okay, okay, I get it. That's one way to do it. I want to go to Mexico. I want to go home. Home. Hold on, I'll be back in a minute. What the hell? Kill him, Arthur. Nice one. Okay. Throwing knives. What's he still doing down there? It's one thing torturing a man, it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. You better hurry it up. I don't want to be here when the law comes for that side of beef. Okay. Beef area. All right, all right, all right, all right. <clears throat> You're all right, Arthur. You're all right, Arthur. Trolling the roads around the cabin. Okay, I need to get to my horse. And I, oh yeah, that would make sense. I can't whistle for hammer. my stuff. Now I just gotta get out of here. Mm. Alright, that one guy I was worried about has turned away. Well, I know where I am. All right, this was the cabin I found when we were trying to get Sean the first time. So I might want to follow the road because I'm a ways away from the camp. Passed out. Hopefully Hammer knows to take us home. Oh, poor Arthur. That was such a weird interaction. Is 
this camp? Yeah, it is camp. Uh. Arthur! Arthur? Arthur! Uh, I told you it was a setup, Dutch. Oh, my boy, my dear boy, what? They got me. But I got away. Yeah, yeah, you did. Miss Grimshaw, I need help! Reverend Swanson! He's gonna set the law on us! No, of course he was! I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. Swanson! Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, you're safe now! Oh, let's get him to bed! You are safe now, Arthur. Okay. I got you. You're safe now. That's pretty, Tuss. That's, that's real pretty. Miss Grimshaw, will you sit with him a while? Of course. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. You're home. Weeks later? I thought I'd be burying you, Mr. Morgan. Well, not quite yet, River. Good. How you feeling? Oh, uh, about the same as you. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, take care of yourself. You too. <sighs> All right, bestie, now that you're feeling better, we gotta get rid of this beard. Okay, let's check. Uh, Bill has a mission for us, but let's walk around and see what everyone has to say about that. Miss Grimshaw. Ah, you're looking much better. I was worried. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Sure. Karen, wait. Karen. Good morning. Don't worry. I ain't gonna kill you. Oh, well, good. Karen? Hey, Karen. It's the wounded warrior. You're back in business then? Uh, I think so. All right, well, I should be getting on. I particularly want to talk to Micah and Dutch. Hey, Lenny. How's it going? Good. How you feeling? Much better. Okay, well, let's talk more later. All right, Arthur. That was such a weird interaction, the way it was set up. Jose, how you are you okay? doing? Hey, Fenton! <laughs> <laughs> oh, never again. Let's do it again. Anyway, I won't disturb you. All right, Arthur. Because I can understand Combs' reasoning and wanting to kidnap Arthur to, like, get a rise out of Dutch. Which apparently didn't work. I guess that I am just some tired old Yankee dreamer in a world I no longer understand. That's so. I am starting to think so. I am starting to fear so. Well, I should get back to it. Fine. Hey, hey. <coughs> what? Ah, uh, don't worry. It can wait. You're interrupting my beauty rest. I understand the need or the desire to want to kidnap Arthur, but once you get Arthur out of the way, why not just Fire's kill... Fire's hot, Mr. Morgan. Why not just kill, uh, Micah and then go after Dutch? Why have this whole thing about it? Javier, do you not want to talk to me? Okay. Hey, Charles. Good to see you back on your feet. No rest for the wicked. Hey, Sadie. So you didn't get Cole Muldriscoll? No. no. Well, I'm feeling better, by the way. Miss Gaskell. Hey, Mr. Pearson. John. Oh, finally back on your feet. <laughs> All that crap you gave me after that wolf attack? 
Yeah. Well, I guess we're now even. All right, well, I should be getting on. Yep. Hey, morning, Arthur. Did you suddenly change clothes? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. There's a little question mark over here. Nope, you Tilly? Okay, Arthur? You want to talk? I think Arthur might need to talk. Yes. What's been going on with you? I don't know. I... What? Been acting kind of crazy. Mm-hmm. How so? I've been killing. A lot. I mean, innocent folk. I don't know why. Yeah, that's bad, Arthur. That's real bad. I know. I just... Well, you know me. Sure. I know you. But then you go act all crazy. Yeah, but I've always been crazy. <laughs> no, you haven't. Maybe Mike could put a spell on me. And maybe you're just being a fool. No, there's always that. We haven't killed too many people who, like, didn't deserve it. Arthur. There he is. You all right there? I think so. I wanted to see if I could hunt down... Morning, Arthur. You're pathetic. You're a pathetic man, John Marston. They are always having problems. I wanted to see if I could hunt down Micah and talk to him. Hey, Mary Beth. Glad to see you back on your feet. Uh, a few new scars, but I'll live. Kid, how you doing? Morning, to you. Morning, Uncle Arthur. Molly. Hi, Molly. Morning, Arthur. Smile. Things could be worse. I'll smile when I got reason to. <laughs> Hi there. Uh all right, let's let our boy take some rest. I mean, he's been resting for like weeks now, but still. I'm gonna end this episode here, but something about that last mission didn't feel right. <laughs> Not only because like Comal Driscoll's reasonings for like kidnapping Arthur seemed kind of dumb, but I don't like the setup leading up to the mission and it felt kind of like uh it was already a trap on, like, Colm's side because he wanted to capture Dutch and then give him off to the Pinkertons and probably ask for some type of immunity in doing so. But it seems like more of a setup. Like, I don't like how Micah, someone who's very trigger-happy and anyone that's not Micah can essentially go die in his eyes. I don't like how he... And I know that Pearson was the one who apparently met the O'Driscoll boys in a bar or something in the saloon, and the O'Driscoll boys told him that Colm wanted a truce. I know it was Pearson that that happened to, but it was Micah, of all people, who went to Dutch. And Micah has this hold on Dutch right now, and I think it's because Micah portrays himself as someone... He portrays himself as a lapdog, even though he doesn't feel like one. Very much... Sure, Dutch. I'll do anything you say, Dutch. Your word, your word is golden, Dutch. Even if Micah, probably in the back of his head, is thinking Dutch is an idiot, he at least plays into Dutch's need to be, like, loved and appreciated. So Dutch trusts him a lot, and I think Micah knows that. And it might just be my dislike of Micah, but I really do think that Micah led us into a trap there. Because it doesn't make any sense why Micah, of all people, would be the what one that would so want a truce. South, Arthur, I don't what? like it. Seems as good a place as any to get chased by the law, Miss Tilly. You ain't so dumb as that, Arthur. I'm a Negro. I know. I'll keep you safe, Miss Tilly. My mama was a slave until she was 15 years old, Arthur. I'll keep you safe, Miss. You have my word. Ain't no one touching Tilly. I'll burn down the whole town. But yeah. I don't like the setup of that, even though Pearson was the one who came in with the information. It was Micah that was really pushing to go meet Colm. And even though it would seem like common sense, if you're going What's to go meet... Now? 
I seen you looking at her, Dutch. Who? Looking at who? You know who. Get I don't know who. You, am I? That's how it usually works with you, isn't it? You're delusional again. Won't <laughs> even look me in the eye, but you look at her all day. Doesn't matter what I say, you'll believe whatever fantasy you're currently living in. Fantasy? You think this is a fantasy for me? I do not have the energy for this right now. Oh, it's written all over you. I'm not stupid. I've been watching. Oh, that much is painfully clear. You're playing a <laughs> dangerous game. Will you be quiet? I am trying to read here. Pig! Are there literally hears everything going on around camp? No one has any secrets as long as this man is awake. Okay, back to what I was saying. Even though it would seem like common sense, if you're going to go meet this enemy that you've had for years, you would want to check the surrounding area for, like, extra guns, a sniper in I Arthur's case. But Combs boys knew exactly where to find Arthur, and Micah was the one that said, hey, you should go to this exact spot and watch over us during this meeting. I don't like it, and like I said, it could just be my distrust and dislike of Micah that's making me blame everything on him. But something was seemed very off with that entire mission. But now that I'm done with that little analysis that I just had to get off my chest, I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here. When we come back, I think... Is Bill the only person who needs to see us? Nothing else is, like, on the perimeter of my map. Oh! This guy's missions, he just goes everywhere. Well, it has been a couple of weeks, so he would have traveled a little. But, um, we'll go see Bill, and then we'll make our way off to go see Mr. Mason. At some point, I do need to, um, go out and do the rest of the legendary hunts. I have a map for it, don't I? I need to go off and I need to do those because I do want the specialty items from the legendary animals to finish off my talismans. And there's a couple of things. I don't know if they're like random objects I find out on the map, but I know I'm missing like, uh, I don't think it's a bronze compass. It's some type of item, a compass that I'm missing. I think it's a compass. And petrified wood and there's like one or two other things civil war handcuffs or something i think i had one of those at one point but i might have accidentally sold it but i don't think i've had the other two things so anyway that'll be our plan for when we come back i hope you guys enjoyed the episode i hope you join me again and i'll be seeing you very soon bye